<laughs> Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. Yeah, most of that human tissue is mine. Yeah. That, get get off. Get off, damn you. Ah, no, you, no, you don't. No, you, no, you don't. Oh, there's a freaking swarm of them. Oh, my God. Wow. No. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Welcome back, guys. I've just geared up with uh, some food and water. Grab my gear because we're going on a mission. Oh, yeah. We're heading to the Aurora because... um. While I was out scavenging near the Aurora, this happened. Life form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. So we only have 24 hours to save the world. Flash, ah! <laughs> right, let's go. Let's do this. Let's rescue the planet from the containment breach. Now, I have been working on the base, uh, and I'm gonna show you everything that I've done, but that's gonna be in the next episode. This episode's gonna be all about investigating the Aurora. And the Aurora is a really seriously impressive site. Look, I, they've done such a fantastic job on this game. Just look at that. Love it. Right, so we want to head down towards the bow section, which is, of course, the front of the ship. The, um, the engines are at the back, and then this is the, this is the front of the ship. So this is the, this is the part that got wrecked the most, because this took the brunt of the impact when it crashed down onto the planet. Oh. Now, when approaching the front of the ship, it's a really, really good idea. Oh, and of course, I just get here and it goes dark. Really? Oh, come on. It's trying to make life difficult for me. Um, it's a good idea to stay nice and close to the hull and uh, and work your way down. This is I've, I've been I've been scavenging titanium and stuff along here, but this is about as far as I got to. And I was just looking down here when I got that message. Oh, it's scary. It's scary because swimming around out there somewhere, there is a reaper. I know because when I was, when I, after I got that message, I turned around and I was heading back and I heard something and there was a reaper out there and I just got the hell out of there as quickly as possible. Is he, is he around? I don't, I, you know what? I shouldn't, I shouldn't be looking for him. I should be avoiding him. What the hell's wrong with me? Right, so let's stay right over by the hull. I'm just, I'm just looking around in case he's here. All right, let's let's try and find a way in. Find a way in through the superstructure. A little bit higher as a way in. Oh, this looks promising. Can we, can we sneak in through here? Oh, we can. Oh, we can. Oh, it is a serious wreck. Oh my God, look at the devastation. Okay, let's go park the ship. Oh, it's all it's all death and destruction out here. And we've got little skitters. Warning, ship's structural integrity is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. Okay, thanks for that. What the hell's banging on the hull? Oh, it's the skitter. Right, let's... Ow! Ow! What the hell? One of those damn skitters. Oh, we got spike right straight away. Oh, medical kit. That will come in useful. Yes. Ow! You know what? Let's let's just get the hell away from these skitters. So let's look around this place. 
we've got... Oh, he's following me. Get away from me. Get away from me. We've got... Well, we've got loads of these things running around. That's what we've got. Ow! Damn you! Get the hell away from me. Get the old knife out. Oh, yeah. ah, I think he got more me more than I got him. Uh, there we go. You dead now? Yeah, I think he's dead now. Okay, well we've got an entrance way here that's blocked by rubble. So we could go in that way, potentially. If I use the old uh, propulsion cannon, or we can carry on looking for a better entrance. Get us around. Supply crate. Ow! Ow! Did I get what was in that? I don't think I did. What's that? Oh, battery. Ow! Seriously, get off! Die! 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 Got him. Okay. Right. <laughs> God, those things are seriously bad news. This is all fire. Oh, good. More supply crates. Oh, some water. Nice. I come in handy. Um, you know what? I think... Ow! These these guys are really persistent. And there's more of them. Holy... And more! Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. Yeah, most of that human tissue is mine. They've been taking big chunks out of me. Let's, let's heal up. There we go, right. And... It was a, I just saw a supply crate. There it is. What have we got in here? Oh, more water. Okay, well, we're not short of water now. It is completely, totally epic, isn't it? Right. Can we, can we come along here? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Just, there's just fire and destruction everywhere. Can you? Can you go on? Like, it looks like you can. Whoa! Oh, oh, more blooming skitters. Keep moving. Don't stand still. Run. Oh, we've got another supply crate. Oh, more medicine. Good. Oh, we've got. Oh, I'll get through here. Is that something? No. I can't see a damn thing. Okay, we've got just fire. Okay, so that's the airlocks. Oh, this is more like it. This way to cargo bay three. This way to administration. Are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Okay, thank you for that. Right. <laughs> okay. So we've got fire blocking us that way. Now, I did bring my fire extinguisher with me. So, good grief. Oh, PDA! PDA! Integrating new PDA data. Aurora Engineering Drone Log. Exiting sleep mode. Loading voice recognition. Engineer Barkley and Chief Technology Officer U identified. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey, Berkeley, install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone, I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Sensors recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweak the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> drone, I know... His name's Albert now. Albert, I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion can retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. Entering. Hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored. I take a spacewalk in my skivvies. <laughs> okay. That's probably the funniest one so far. Uh, right. Let's grab uh, something to eat and drink, I think, because I'm getting, getting pretty low. God. Should have brought more food with me. Right. Let's go. Let's go up here. All right. Let's put this fire out. Yeah. 
Alrighty. Whoa. A bit left. There we go. Fine. Right. Now it's scanning time. Oh, we've got another PDA. Notes to self. So here we are, finally in open space. We crossed the currency to install a phase gate to send ships to mine resources, to build more expensive ships to install fancier phase gates. Are we trying to exhaust the galaxy or just ourselves? Use birthday, weeks before we get home. Weeks, it feels like, before we get home. Not enough. <laughs> oh, cargo bay code. 1454. Okay. Well, that might come in useful. Um, any stuff to scan without getting burned alive? Doesn't look like it over here. Ignore that. Well, what have we got here? Integrating new PDA data. Altera launches the Aurora. Phase gate announced for the uh, Ariadne arm. Altera launches the Aurora. The furthest reaches of inhabited space are due to expand as Altera Corp launches a newly constructed capital ship carrying a phase gate bound for the Ariadne arm. The Aurora will travel from a space stack on the edge of Altera space, making hundreds of consecutive phase gate jumps through nine different transgiver authorities and arrive on the far side of the Ariadne arm in three months' time. From there, the command crew will pilot the ship beyond the final phase gate, arriving in the next solar system approximately 18 months later. Um, there, the elite team of engineers will begin a six-month construction project on the new phase gate, a multi-trillion credit investment in the interest Oh, sorry, in the absence of existing infrastructure in the region, the vessel is equipped with advanced thermal and nuclear power facilities. Altera Corp currently operates 90% of all phase gates in the galaxy. If the Aurora's mission is successful, Altera will, will ha have outmaneuvered a cabal of Mongolian corporations operating a range of outposts and mines in the region. There's a lot of backstory. I love all the backstory. It does kind of, like, get you into it. What do we got over here? Is that something? Oh yes, there's a, there's something. A oh, battery. We like batteries. Oh, prawn suit. Prawn suit Mark III. Poster. <laughs> we'll take that with us, I guess. It's not the most useful thing, but I guess we'll take it. Right, let's move on then. I think we're done with administration. But that's given us some, uh, some helpful backstory. Right, so now we want to move deeper into the ship. Propulsion cannon fragment. Don't need you. Okay, so... Yeah, well, we're going down here. This looks all... Blocked. Do I still need the... Yeah, I still need this. Can't see a damn thing without it. What have we got? Oh, one of the battery. Lots of batteries. <laughs> Lots of batteries. Okay, well, I'm not going to run, run out of battery power while I'm down here. Okay, right. It, this is... Um, this is propulsion cannon time. So let's get the propulsion cannon. Ooh, this is going to be awesome. Um, so I, yeah, I'm going to use that first aid kit. That's a good idea. And I'll get the top of the old water as well while I'm at it. Right, so propulsion cannon. This will allow us to move all of this wreckage. <laughs> so let's get that moved out there. And move yourself over there. There we go, and now we can move this crate. Go on, get over there. And the last one. Boom. Alrighty, I think, I think we're in. We're in, we're in! <laughs> oh, oh. I, I tell you what, there is this, with the ship shaking and rumbling, it, it creates a really, really intense atmosphere. All right, so. What have we got down here? Scans of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. Oh, is that... I guess that's talking about what brought the ship down. So... Is this... This is that code, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Notes to self. Um, cargo bay code. 1454. So... 1454. Four. Go. Oh, and it's unlocked. <laughs> so, ooh. Well, there should be some stuff in here, wouldn't you think? For us to, for us to plunder. Well, you'd kind of hope so. 
So, let's see. What could we scan? Ooh, floodlight. Awesome. We have floodlights around the base now. Nothing in there. Oh, PDA. PDA. We like PDAs. Transcurve profile. New PDA data. One of the largest suppliers of spacefaring technologies and consumer electronics in the Federation. Uh, the official supplier of the TSF, consistently ranked amongst the galaxy's best employers, began life as a defence manufacturer in the mid-22nd century. National motto, get what you deserve. Although most transgovs can trace their roots back to Earth, Altera, literally meaning by Earth, is the only one brazen enough to take its name. During the expansion, Altera supplied arms to all sides, acquiring and housing a vast colonist workforce, making the transition from manufacturer to corporate state. Altera's threat to cease trade was one of the turning points in the conflict, bringing about the end of hostilities and the signing of the Charter. Free enterprise within Altera space is encouraged, but competition is tight, and all goods exported off-world must be Altera branded. Profitable business are, are bought out by the state, owners ascending to the board of directors. Well-known Antera technologies like the Cyclops Submersible originated with such private enterprises. Despite superficial similarities to national governments, the corporation's lawyers have always maintained that it has no legal ob obligation to its employees, but voluntarily elects to take on the, uh, to take on ro the roles usually served by a democratically elected government. <sighs> this claim has not been tested in Federation courts. All right. That was a long one. Okay, so we got any more? Oh yes, we have got more coaster. What have we got in here? Oh, just some water. Yeah. It's a bit I've already been through. Hasn't it? Yeah. All right, so I guess we're heading down this ramp. <laughs> it gets creepier and creepier. Okay, so, oh, is there a, I guess, yeah, I guess you can go down here. Ooh, more supply crates. More water. Ow! Get off me. Loving biters. Get that, get, get off, get off, damn you. Any more of the little things? Did I, did I kill them all? God, I hope I killed them all. God, I, I, I hate them. They're like freaking... I oh, know there's another one. They're like freaking leeches. Get off me, damn you. Ugh. Ugh. They're horrible. No, there's freaking another one. Where are you? Did I get him? I think I got him. I think I got him. I think, I think they're all dead now. Got out. They're all dead. They're horrible things. What have we got? Oh, some more water. It's like, I mean, it's cool. We found lots of batteries and lots of water. Another battery. God, there's no shortage of batteries around here. Okay. Uh, so this needs to be repaired. So let's do a repair job on here. It's a big ship, isn't it? There's lots to explore. And, okay, it's done. It's done. Ooh, what have we got in here? Get the scan around. Where's all the cool stuff? We want oh, there's a PDA over there. Ooh, what oh, what we got here? CMOS depth module. Oh yes, please. That will increase that the, the depth of the CMOS. Integrating new PDA data. <laughs> VR sweet log. Loading program, Desert Island Drama. Three players. Sporting players on beach. Player one has been washed away by an unusually high tide. Player two has traded a coconut with player three for 10 credits. <laughs> player three has planted a coconut. Players are getting hungry. Player three has grown a coconut tree. Player three has eaten a coconut. Player three is no longer hungry. <laughs> Seriously, did you just go on like that? Play to eat for 30 credits, eat the coconut, <laughs> trade it. Sleeping inside their tent, play to is cold, night falls, a passing ship is off and trading. Player two is trading 30 credits for a musket. Player three has been shot twice in the head while sleeping. <laughs> Player two wins. Player two has died from cold of starvation. <laughs> okay, that's funnier. And I'm choking to death for some reason. So what is this? This is... 
Oh, this is the sea moth bay. Oh, okay. Which kind of explains why we got that sea moth upgrade. So we've got big sea moth fragment, little sea moth fragment, and that's all that's in here. All right, well, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. There's a little, I would, would imagine there's still a lot to do. Drive room. Ooh, okay. Should we, should we head towards the drive room? Let's kind of watch the drive room. Because this is where... Sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. Okay. I'm trying not, I'm really trying hard not to miss anything. Let's just put out kind of what we need to put out. There we go. All right, so. Ooh, okay, so we're in the drive room. Oh, oh. Warning, local radiation at maximum tolerable level. Cyclops edge and efficiency module. Oh, hell yes. Sweet. Okay, well. These look like hull breaches. Should we repair one? Can you repair, can you repair them? Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Okay, so we've got like 10 breaches to repair. Wow, okay. Well, let's get on with this. Containment breach repaired. Further I'd, breaches detected. I don't know like how difficult they are to spot. Uh, but looks looks fairly easy. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Uh-oh. Biter. Yeah, you ignore me. Further breaches detected. One over here. As long as, as long as that biter leaves me alone, this is going to be pretty easy. Oh, there's that biter. He's coming. Ah, get off me, you... Get off me! Thank you! Ouch! Oh look, there's a, there's a, there's, well I saw at least two of the darn things. Ah. That's you dead. Oh, and another one. Oh, and another one coming in. No, no, no you don't. No, no you don't. Oh, there's a freaking swarm of them. Oh my god! <laughs> Get away from me! Ah, they're horrible. Little leechy things. <laughs> Oh, there's another freak. I can see you. Oh, got him. Ha, got him. Right, can I get on with this now? Let's just do this again. Oh, there's another one. There we go. Get, uh, uh. Got him. Whew, okay. Uh, have I got a... Oh, man, I haven't got a med kit either. Whoa, and there's a, another one. Get off. Get off, damn it. Ah, uh, I'm getting eaten alive. Is is that all of them? God, I hope that's all of them. They almost seriously, they almost ate me alive. Damn things. Okay. Ooh, right, let's uh, let's finish these repairs and get the hell out of here. Okay, four left. And three left after this. Oh, come on. Repair it. There we go. Got to be pointing at it. Uh, oh. There's one down here by the look of it. Yep, one down here. So what's that? That leaves what, two? And... Oh, here's, ah, here we go. There's one here and one on the next one. There we go. Now, is this going to stop the, the radiation leaks? Or is there more to do? 
I need a medical. I need to find a medical kit. Whoa, we've done it. Drive core breach sealed. Radiation levels decreasing. Sweet. So the world is not going to end. We've done our flash at our stuff. So now it's just about finding any more cool stuff that's lying around the Aurora. And, and hopefully finding a freaking med kit would be nice. Ooh, and now we've got a door that we need to cut through. Cut that door. Dog. They've thought of everything in this game, haven't they? Laser cutters. Repairs. Flashlights. Sea glides. Giant sub submarines. I can name it, it's in here. Okay. Oh, come on, get through, get through. Oh, is there any oh, Yes, there is. Alright. So, let's take a look around here. Oh, locker room. Oh, here we go. PDA. Auxiliary mission orders. Auxiliary mission orders. So, uh, mission, search and wreck. Oh, so. Haha. <laughs> So we had another mission. Search and rescue. Target. Crew of the Mongolian vessel Degassi. Oh, okay. Well, that's that, those were the people on the island, the survivors of the Degassi. That's known position. This planet. Contact Mongolian embassy. Nochi uh, Kasar, Aurora passenger. Uh, a Mongolian vessel, the Degassi, disappeared almost a decade ago, carrying with it a high-ranking Mongolian chief. Corporate insurance has purchased passage aboard the Aurora for Emissary Kassar, and your orders are to make every re reasonable effort to locate and retrieve the Degassi crew members without compromising the primary mission. Confirming the fate of the crew will aid uh, Altera's diplomatic effects with the, uh, with the Mongolian castle. Well, we've found out a lot of what's, what's happened to them. Um, Aurora is due to perform a slingshot maneuver around blah blah blah. So bring the ship within range of the Degassi's last known position, and then something bad will happen and we'll crash on the planet. Oh no, it doesn't say that. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. More. I want more stuff. Let's make sure we check all of these lockers. No, nothing in there. Dog oh, medkit! Oh yes! Let's use that straight away. Oh man. I was starting to wonder if I was going to get through this or have to go back to the ship. Um, oh, what have we got? What the hell is that? Oh, another battery. Oh, another PDA. A lot of PDAs. Sweet offer. Integrating new PDA data. You're telling me you've been on this rig more than a year and you never took a ride on the outside? Well, now you've only gone and gotten yourself a friend with the keys to a giant freaking robot suit. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of guy. We've uh, we've plain got nothing to do till we get uh, Starside to work on the gate. You want to taste the stars? You've only got to say, my spare prawn suit's got your name on it. You don't know what power feels like till you've crushed an asteroid with your bare, heavily mechanically augmented arms. Want to play catch with a passing meteor? Come by cabin number one, Coast. Ah, oh, 1869. Okay, card one. I think we've covered everything that I get. Oh, a bit of water. I almost didn't see that. Nothing in here. Oh, and now we've got... Some food would be nice. No, batteries. Food's going to be the thing I'm going to run out of. I've got, I've got loads of water. No food. Let's drink of water. Oh, the prawn bay. Oh, now that needs to be repaired by the look of it. Up the door. Oh, the prawn bay. Prawn suit. Picking up a faint black box signature originating on the other side of the hull breach in this room. Okay. Prawn suit fragment. Oh man, sweet! Can't wait to get a broad suit. That one. How many need? I still need two more. 
Oh, another prawn state fragment. Chi ching Oh, and yes, there we go. That's the fort. We've got the prawn suit. Any other stuff in here? Nothing in there. Oh, we've got a module. We've got a module. I can't get close enough to it. I can't get myself burned. Uh, storage module. Okay, sweet. I guess we're going up here. Right, it's, it's propulsion cannon time. Oh, go, baby. <laughs> and... Oh, the, the tools that they put in this game are so cool. Go. You throw desks around and great big heavy crates. All right, let's go, 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 go. Man, I don't know. I don't know how much more of this it, there is to. Okay, now we're into living quarters. Oh, supply room. Oh, water. W water. And I need a new battery, but I don't think that's a problem because I've got about 10 million batteries. Um, I've got that. Oh, oh, yes, food. A nutrient block. Yes. And. Oh, and two more nutrient blocks. Okay, that's pretty damn good. Um, bar table. And I see a PDA. Bar table? Oh, no, no, it's just a bottle. Vending machine. <laughs> we definitely want a vending machine in our base. Oh, hell yeah. We could budge of those. Um, oh, single wall shelf. Cool. Oh, and a counter. Oh, there's loads of cons And I see a fire extinguisher. Let's grab that. Keep calm. Keep calm, Poster. You will have that. And anything in there? I don't think so. I think it's just a raging inferno. We'll uh, grab the fire extinguisher, though. Anything behind here? No. Okay. So, we've done supply, we've done the canteen. So, what have we got here? I don't think that's repairable. Can't get into there. Okay, so, nothing up here. So, we'll go... I don't know. Let's, well, this is cabin one, so let's start here. So, cabin one. Oh, now, cabin one. Let's have a look. Data bank. Um, that's the captain's cabin. Um, cabin number one, 1869. So, 1869, Snigger. Alrighty, we're in. We're in. And we've got <laughs> Arcade George toy. Okay, some water. We've got, now if I can get it. There we go, medical kit. Oh, wool shelves. Oh, yeah. More decorations for the base. Peachy. Okay, we've got a carry-all. Now, these are these are like storage lockers, these carry-alls. Um, and... Yeah. Yeah. We'll leave that for now. I've, I've got so much stuff. I'm going to have to like dump some stuff. Oh, what have we got over here? Responsible autonomous relationships. All the good things in life are commodities. We we trade love just as we buy and sell stock. We engage in human relationships when there is a fair amount of value. Support, motivation, affection, nothing good is ever free. Uh, yeah. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Uh, let's scan the old double bed. Woohoo! We can sleep now. I'm gonna have to get a bedroom set up. Uh, any more stuff? No, I think that is it. Definitely. Yep, yep. Cool. Right, cabin three. Ooh, single bed. Awesome. It's a shame you, like, there isn't, like, a... Well, I suppose these are the same as the lockers that we've got, aren't they? Yeah, I guess. So, 
Nothing in there, nothing in there. Nothing in there. And really? Well, what was what was that? Oh, it was just that carryall. Uh, some more water, which I could actually do with. Um, let's eat uh, let's eat a nutrient block. Let's have some water. Okay, and you know what? I'm gonna use that first aid kit. Alright, well we're in good shape. That's okay. Uh, can I get sneak past that? Yeah. Oh, captain's quarters. Right, now, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Data bank. Where was the captain's? Uh, did it do, did it? Oh, here we go. Captain's quarters. The code is 2679. 2679. Whoa! Where's the captain's quarters? Hooray! And we've got a PDA. Captain's log. Uh, loading program. Uh, 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 you're exploring quite back. <laughs> when the ship you arrived here, uh, when the ship you arrived here in explode, uh, implodes, it must be the arachnid kidney poachers. <laughs> Quick, what will you do? Search the crash site, farm alien plants, use the tectonic de Oh my god. <laughs> That's just what Craig McGill would do. How will you sustain yourself? It's, 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 so the cap, it's the captain of the ship playing a game about being the captain of a ship. Oh, man, cool. Um, oh, we've got an Aurora poster. That's going in the base. Um, nothing from that. Ooh, supply crate. What have we got? Oh, a nutrient bar. Data terminal. What's this? Altura HQ. Last recorded transmissions. And blueprints for the Neptune escape rocket. Oh, hell yeah. Neptune Escape Robert. This blueprint set was developed at Altera headquarters specifically to get you off that planet and back to the nearest phase go. So we can get off the planet. It consists of five independently constructible elements. Launch platform, gantry, stage one, stage two, and stage three. Primary thrusters, fuel reserve, and cockpit. Features, one person life support, short range comms, Adaptable power supply, orbital shielding, onboard time capsule. Onboard AI will not launch if local threats are detected. Now, warning: the use of alien materials to power the craft may increase its range in unpredictable ways. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Um, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a, it's a model of the Aurora. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, I can't wait to put that in the base. Oh, this is, seriously, this freaking game is so good. More water. Um, cabin 2, I can't get into, can I? Right, so that's that's that. We've ex exhausted this corridor. Um, and, I don't, and I've been down this way. I don't think I've been down this way, have I? Have I been down this way? I can't freaking remember. <laughs> no, I haven't been down this way. So I've got PDA. Relationship contract legal recording. What the hell is this? Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? <laughs> it's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. <laughs> what on earth? Oh man, there is some weird stuff. There is some weird stuff in this game. There's some funny stuff. There's some weird stuff. That definitely falls into the weird category. Oh, oh, oh. Is that another poster? Yeah, prawn suit poster. Oh, we can have posters all over the base. Uh, we've got everything. I think we've got everything that's in here. Cabin 7. Can I get into cabin 7? I probably can if I equip my trusty... Fire extinction. Uh, this one's 47. Let's have you. So. Well. Right, 
here we go. Oh, another PDA. Altera Arms pamphlet. New PDA data. Charity is an archaic concept which the realism of today's Alterians has rendered obsolete. We understand that we are each responsible for ourselves. <laughs> so, yeah, so they've got rid of charity. Uh, if someone is in need, they must find a way to be needed. Altera Arms is a training academy for those that need to be needed. We're not a charity because we don't ask for handouts. We prefer to think of ourselves as a philanthropic benef beneficence facilitation um, uh, facilitation service promoting synergy between employee and work. Oh, my God, is there enough corporate speak in this? AA operates on a lottery system. By investing any number of credits, you will be entered into our prize draw. <laughs> Larger investments, you'll higher chances of winning. Your credits will go towards training unsealed colonists in vital tasks such as maintenance and interpersonal skills. The colonists receive this training voluntarily and free of charge on condition of a minimum contract with one of our investors on completion of their training. So it's like indentured servitude. Great. Um, Go back to this. Ah, see, it's like I put the light on, suddenly I can see things. I've probably missed so much while I've been running around. Uh, and another battery, another carry all, which I'm guessing is empty. Yeah, it's empty. Shame all the carry alls are empty. Um, by the way, if you're thinking that you can you can like fill up these bags and take it with you, you, you can't move them if there's anything in them. So it's actually it's the opposite of a carry all. It's a carry nothing. And I've I'm full. I'm absolutely full. So, you, you know, I'm going to have to take this stuff back. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe drop, like, eh, you know what? Let's drop a filtered water. Cool. Um, I'm going to grab the poster, right? And then I'm going to take this stuff back to, well, I've got that storage module now, haven't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got the storage module for the Seamoth. So what I could do is go and dump that stuff. Right, let's uh, access the upgrades panel on the Seamoth. Where are we? Here we go, access upgrades. And we want to put in, where are we? We've got the storage module. So let's pop that in. And we've also got the depth module. Sweet. Crush depth's now 300 meters. So it's increased our depth from 200 to 300 meters. And we've got a storage module. Sweet. So now, And we've now got a side pod. With storage. Sweet. So now, let, you know what? Let's, let's, put all, um, let's keep a couple of batteries, I guess. But let's put all those. Um, we'll keep the fire extinguishers. Let's put the toy, the Aurora. Oh, the Aurora miniature. And what do you think? Like the posters? Yeah, let's put the posters away. And... Oh, another poster. There we go. Right, so we've got some space. So now, let's, um, let's go back to where we were. And, uh, and we'll carry on. So that's it. I mean, we are done with all the living quarters. We've covered all of that. So there is, I think, one thing that I haven't done, which is to explore this area. Ooh. Okay. Okay. This looks like a really good opportunity to get yourself killed. Like, it really does. Down in amongst these pipes. Uh, it's just a case of figuring out, like, how you can like, get around in here. Okay, we can get over here. Right, now there is... Okay, there's... Is there oxygen at this end? Okay, that's oxygen. Right, so... How far does this go? Ah, oh, wouldn't it? Right. I was just going to say, I wouldn't think it goes down here, but apparently it does. Ooh, okay. Oh, it's... But that doesn't go anywhere, I don't think. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Okay, well, this is new. This is new. We haven't been here. Oh, yeah. Oh, we've got a data terminal. Anything? Anything to download? Oh, yeah. Aurora black box data. 
Sweet! Initiated slingshot maneuver around planet 4546B. Uh, four, four, High velocity en energy pulse detected on the planet's surface. Emergency distress signal sent to Altera listening boy via long range comm array. Impact detected. Life baits on the starboard side compromised. Outgoing communications compromised. Emergency evacuation initiated. So, <clears throat> so the ship was shot down from by an energy pulse from the planet's surface. Emergency evacuation initiated. Ema manual piloting transferred to Captain Hollister. That's right, Captain Hollister brought the ship in and crashed, didn't he? Uh, life pods 1 to 25 launched successfully. Entering the atmosphere. Massive impact registered. Drive core shield compromised. Well, we fixed that now. Emergency bounce backs received from eight life pods on the planet's surface. Okay, so there are eight life pads. Eight life pods to find. Human life science detected over long range at T plus eight hours one, which is which is us. Uh, personnel accounted for. Non-essential systems maintenance chief Riley Robinson. Okay. Altera HQ rescue solution received at T plus eight hours. High priority terminal in captain's quarters. Monitoring equipment failed at T plus 13. Okay, so now we know what happened to the Aurora. Okay, so we need to cut this door open. Oh man, seriously, this is a big ship. There's a lot to explore. And I need to need to eat and drink. So let's get through there. All right, there we go. And let's um, go on, let's eat a nutrient block. What the hell? And let's have vital oh, signs stabilizing. Let's have a filtered water and a filtered water. There we go. Use a filtered water first, actually. Okay, so what the hell have we got in here? Uh, I don't think I have a code for this. Okay, we've got some kind of some kind of thing going on. Oh, PDA. Oh, <laughs> lab access. If you need to tweak your equipment, please use the, your mod station in the forward section. Code is 6483. Ow! Ow! 6483. There we go. Yes! So, this is obviously the lab. Oh man, uh, I need some oxygen. Need some oxygen really quick. Oh! <laughs> I kind of forgot about the whole needing oxygen to breathe thing. Okay, that was kind of... <laughs> that was kind of scary. Oh, man. Right. So... There's no blooming oxygen anywhere in here, so this is going to have to be quick. So, we've got uh, a PDA. We'll read that later. Uh, I, need, uh, I need a new battery. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Oh, we've got data terminal. Data bank corruption was detected on your PDA. Your technology blueprints have been updated. Oh, pick up microscope, non-functional. Sample analyzer, non-functional. Again, stuff that can be used to uh, to decorate the base. So I think we have now covered absolutely every inch of this freaking place. I think. I I can't think where else we can go. So I think it's time to head back to the the sea moth and get back to base. Wow. But this has been a serious adventure. Um, I don't even know where I'm going now. I've got to try and figure out where the hell I am. I get, I get, I get so excited by these things. Let me, um, let me find my way out. Well, I found my way out, but it f feels like the ship is just going to like blow up at any second. Oh, avoid the skitters. Ow, ow. Avoid the skitters. Let's go. Oh, man. Whoa! Okay, I didn't see that hole in the floor. Oh, well, that's not what I want. That's... Wow. What is that noise? That reaper around somewhere? God, I hope not. God, I hope not. Let's get back to the moth. 
And now, yes, we've got depth of 300, and we've got tons of stuff, and we've got storage. Oh, this has worked out pretty damn nicely. I'm just checking to see for. Okay. That. That is a Reaper. Is it is it dead or something? Was it was it stuck or I have I've never had the chance to look at one of these like up close. Oh man. Oh look at it roaring. I mean it looks like it's stuck. Whoa! No, 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 no! Get the hell away! Wah! No! No, 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 no! Oh my god! Get the hell away from me! Okay. Well, we're still alive, just... Um... I have no idea where the hell I'm going. I just, I just like ran. So I'm gonna head. I don't know. I'm gonna head north and try and like get around. Let's go. Let's get head for the surface for one thing. Oh my god! That was, seriously, my heart's beating. That was scary. That was also really, really crazy and stupid. But I. I managed to get away with it. How do I get away with these things? So, well, I say I've got away with it. I'm not. I'm not out yet. So, where are we? Oh, okay. Well, I think we're probably like. I really shouldn't slow down. No, we're we're not safe yet. We're not safe. We're not out of it yet. But close, I think. Another another three or four hundred meters, and I will say we're safe. Oh. So yes, <laughs> man. <laughs> I was seriously not expecting that. I thought the damn thing was just stuck. So I thought, oh, this is an opportunity for a a, 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 a nice close look. Um, yeah. Well, we did get a close look. Holy hell. Seriously, my my heart is still kind of kind of pounding. There's a nice big reef back. Yeah, we're we're safe now. Right. So, um we will take a look at the base and we'll be building more of the base in the next episode. If you want to see that, come back for the next episode. I'll catch you for that. Peace out.